everyone, this is the Legendary I'm back again with more. This time I'm going to be doing another Beyblade Burst unboxing. Well, at least I know that this is Beyblade Burst because basically I've been waiting in the mail for this. If you follow me on Instagram, then you would know that I actually ordered a Beyblade a few, about two or three weeks ago and I basically just have been waiting for it to come for a little bit now. It is... Um... Hockey Stick Salamander, or... You know, for... Because this Beyblade was hyped up a lot, how about we put in the chat, Hype Salamander, instead of the name that it was given because the name is not really family friendly and this channel is family friendly so let's call it Hype Salamander so because of the hype that came out of the Beyblade at the time just basically about eight months ago <laughs> anyway this is this is Beyblade Burst there to kind of tell me is B113 there is Hype Salamander. It looks nice. Just looking at the box, it looks amazing. And I just love these boxes. The, you know, this is a booster box. I still love the box art for it. And it even shows you the parts. It's just, it's just amazing. I like it more than the, I like it more than Hasbro's box art and the regular ones that we have been getting for. Kind of tell me. So, let's go over the parts. Here is Hype Salamander. The, the original name of the Beyblade will be in the title of the video, but that's it. So for Hype Salamander, it's just black and then there's pink. This has a black and pink color scheme. And then you may notice this little tab near the teeth, which the teeth I can't really show well, but it might be pretty good. And Pull down this tab, like to a nemesis, and then you fly over. Then when you hear that click sound, you just push it back up, then you switch modes. This is a five blade mode, which is used for attack mostly, and the other mode is ten blade mode, which is the one that it came in, which is normally used for defense. And then here's 12, my very first Takara Tommy 12 disc. And 12 disc is known for breaking Beyblades and it's also light and these thin things are actually capable of breaking Beyblades. Which I don't really believe it too much, but I only believe, believe it for Turbo Beyblades because they don't have metal. And here it is, Operate, the most hyped thing about Hype Salamander. And it's because it has defense mode and attack mode. So that's defense, that's attack. It's in defense mode currently because it's centered. And you can't push it down or anything. It's just kind of in defense mode in default. And then we push it over. Hear that click sound. And it's off centered now. You can press it down so you could kind of expose the ball tip a little bit and now it should be able to jump so that's kind of the gimmick of it is that it has two modes five blade mode and ten blade mode and it also has the ability to either jump or just stay stationary because it has attack and defense modes so you kind of have just four modes overall that you could possibly do during it during any kind of battle 
But I'm just gonna put this video together and then tell you my thoughts and wow. That print is so unique. It looks so awesome. Prop rate. And it's actually a less than Beyblade, so that makes it even harder to burst. Okay, that's the teeth feel nice. And this one is used for competitive play, so I know this is pretty good, but I'm still gonna battle against Z Achilles just to see how good it really is. I'm using the long Bay Launcher L Scram Launcher. So it might be a little bit weird, but I'm gonna try my best. Okay, that, that was defensive. That's 10 Blade Defensive Mode. I actually believe that the Hasbro one will have problems because it jumps. And when it jumps, I believe that it'll just wear down the performance tip slash driver of the Beyblade a lot. Wow, it's already wobbling. But I think the 10 Blade Mode actually gives it more stamina. But let's switch it into its 5 Blade Attack Mode. Um, and I said attack mode, fine blade, and now, let's see, fine blade attack mode, three, two, one, let it rip, okay, it didn't really jump, so I'm gonna try and launch it from higher up. Wow. It actually can jump pretty well. It's kind of like... It's kind of like Storm Capricorn from Metal Fight. Except for... It's for Chelsea. Hype Salamander and... Z Achilles 11 Extend Plus in Attack Mode. 3, 2, 1. Let it rip! I also believe that Hype Salamander has less stamina than the Achilles does. Yeah, and its attack mode has less stamina. 3, 2, 1, light. Yeah. Wow, that was almost a draw. It's kind of a draw. I'm just gonna do one more, but I'm gonna try and do it from this angle. Three, two, one, let it rip. Okay. That was pretty interesting. And I thought I'd see Z Achilles actually win a battle against uh, another Chelsea Beyblade before. Especially in attack mode, but that's what happened. Okay, I'm gonna do one more, except for I'm gonna have Z Achilles in stamina mode and Hype Salamander in five blade attack mode. Three, two, one, light. Rip! I believe that Z Achilles almost bursted. Oh! I only lost one click. Wow. And Hype Salamander almost bursted. Just one more click and it would have been over. So overall, I believe that Hype Salamander kinda does live up to Hype. It still needs more testing. But I believe that this actually could be pretty interesting because there's so many combos you could you could deal with. You could do an operate, and there's also plenty of other Bayway parts that you could compare. That you could pair it with, like bearing, atomic, 
Zero, Bump, Meteor, and others. And you can also even add a level chip if you want to. So that's why I think that this just needs more testing. And I don't really have too many parts to test it with, but I'll do whatever I can. So, like if you want, share if you want, and subscribe for awesomeness. See you next time, bye, and I'm proving to be legendary.